Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how to enable God Mode in Windows 10, also known as the Windows Master Control Panel. We'll show you what settings you can find in there, and this is totally free and easy to access, so check it out. Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Viking Every Day. If you are new here, my name is Ken, and we bring you videos on reviews and how to's so make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on upcoming videos so today we're going to be showing you how to enable god mode on your windows 10 pc it's also known as the windows master control panel and it's totally free and really easy to access and all the code that you're going to need is down in the description below so you can copy that out of there and we're also going to show you what settings are included in god mode and as well i've got a tip for you so let's head on over to my desktop and show you exactly how this is done all right, so we're here on my Windows 10 desktop, and the first thing, like I mentioned before, go down in the description and highlight the code, and you can right-click on it and copy it, or when it's highlighted, hit Control-C and grab that code. Then come back to your Windows 10 desktop, and you're gonna wanna create a folder. So if you right-click with your mouse, and if you scroll down here, there's gonna be an option that says New, and one that says Folder. So open up a new folder and it wants to know the name of the folder. And this is where you're going to put that code in. So you could right click in that area and hit paste, or you could hit control V on your keyboard. And it's going to copy that code right into the folder name. Now watch this folder when I hit enter, what happens to it? It creates a new icon and God mode is created on your desktop. So go ahead and hit enter and watch the whole thing transforms over to what's called God mode and it creates this new little icon. Now let's go ahead and open that up and show you exactly what's inside there. All right, so once you've got God mode loaded up here, you can see it says God mode in the top left-hand corner. And you start scrolling through here, you can see that pretty much every option that you can think of from the Windows control panel is included in here in one easy access location. But it does become kind of overwhelming because there are so many options. So I wanna give you a quick tip here before we show you exactly what's in here. So if you go to any of the headings, for example, administrative tools and you right click on it, there is an option here that says collapse all groups. And if you click on that, it'll collapse all the groups and you can just open up the ones that you use all the time. So for example, maybe use color management, you use fonts and you use mouse all the time. So you can just open up the ones that you use all the time. And even if you shut this down or restart your computer, those groups will stay exactly the same as you left them. So it's really quick and easy to access exactly the ones that you love. So let's expand these groups and show you exactly what is included in here. So if you start going through, there's administrative tools, a whole ton of those. Um, you've got autoplay settings, you've got backup and restore, you've got color management, credential managers, date and time, so if you wanna change all that, devices and printers, setting up scanners, um, seeing what's in there, it's all right there for you. You've got ease of access, ton of, ton of options there. File Explorer options, file history, fonts, indexing options, internet options, all your mouse options, network and sharing options, phone and modem options, all your power options, so um, how long your screen stays on, all that stuff is right there. Programs and features, uninstall programs, it's all right there for you, add and remove programs, region, so there's all the region options, remote app and desktop connections, security and maintenance, sound options, speech recognition options, storage spaces, sync center, system settings. There's a ton of those in there. If you wanna rename your computer, it's all right here at the single push of a button. So for example, if I did wanna rename my computer, I just click on that and it can just go, it takes me right to that option. It's right there, quick and easy to access. Taskbar and navigation, troubleshooting, user accounts. So if you wanted to remove user accounts, manage them, it's all right there. Windows Defender Firewall, Windows Mobility Center, and work folders. It's all right there and easy to access. 
So hope you enjoyed this tutorial of how to enable God mode or the Windows master control panel in Windows 10. Remember, all the code you need is down below in the description and it's really easy to do. If you did like this video and it gave you value, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe to Northern Viking every day because I've got tons of videos coming up that I'd love to share with you. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, take care.